So in the previous video, we saw how you can actually update your cloud tooling, which is dbcli. So we use the CLI ADM uh, command line utility to upgrade or update our dbcli. So once you have done your dbcli update, you can uh, run commands like dbcli describe dash component, right? So if we see uh, dbcli describe component, it will show you what is your level of installed patch version and what is your available version. So if you see here, the grid infrastructure is at 19.9 and available version is 19.10. And our aim with this video is to patch the grid infra, but using command line tools. So as I always say, what is not checked is not done. So let's quickly go to our O patch for the grid infrastructure and see what level are we at. So uh, as you know that it is showing 19.9, so it should match to 19.9. Here, as you can see, uh, the, the version that we are seeing is 19.9 and we need to actually patch it to 19.10. Okay, let's go back. So we are back in root and there is a very, very simple command that you can run to actually update your, D, uh, your grid infrastructure. And that command is dbcli update dash server. It can't get as simple as that guys. It's just one simple command and it would be doing a lot of hard work in the background. What it will do is it will actually be performing or patching your grid infrastructure. Yes, guys, it is actually going at the back end, doing the shutdown of the databases and bringing up, let's say your, your cluster wave or the high availability services in terms of grid infrastructure, bringing it down and patching the uh, grid infrastructure, bring it back, but everything is done with one simple command, which is dbcli update. So now when you run this, you'll see that it gives you a job ID it shows the status is created. It shows you the, the timestamp when it was done and it gives you some kind of description that what patch, uh, or what exactly are you going to uh, get out of it? So it is server patching and some percentage uh, progress, although you can't always rely on it. Like when I'll, I'll show you, sometimes when you rerun it, sometimes it does show you good percentage, but after some time it gets stuck at around 50, 55%, uh, but it's always good to just keep keep an eye on it. So now you once you've done it, I will run a command like list uh, jobs. Again, you'll see the job ID that I was getting. Uh, I'll actually be getting that job ID because I'll make use of this job ID to get more details. So guys, here if you see, this was my previous command, which was dbcli patching. It ran successfully. And now I have started with the server patching. So if you see the server patching, it shows as running at the moment, right? So it is a running, but now the question might be, okay, another thing, the job ID here matches to the job ID here, right? Okay, cool. Now the thing is, if you would ask that, okay, I want to see some details about uh, this um, job. So there is another command, dbcli describe dash job. Then you give minus I and you simply give the job ID. So since we are interested in this job ID, I'll simply give this job ID to give me some kind of details. Although guys in the world of cloud, you might not get what you're looking at in terms of the kind of details you're looking at, but still it will give you some information what this job is doing and what percentage uh, is, is it at the moment. So here it shows that the pre operations for server patching has gone fine. It is a success. It has already started uh, running the server patching, which is actually in a running state at the moment. And here you will see some kind of progress meter, as I said, after some time, keep checking and you'll see that the progress might change after some time. Now, again, as I said in previous videos, uh, that uh, it's always difficult to see what's happening in the background, background but please make use of your data database skills and the skills that we have learned all throughout these years. See, there is a progress percentage of 25%. Always look into the back end if you are interested and you could think look at things like, say, Oracle Home, CFG Tool Logs, OPatch, 
just in case like you're interested to see what's happening in the background so it's the same thing it's just the same rest apis that are being called that were being called when you were actually running from the command uh, from the console and now also it's the same thing that is happening uh, but through just a simple command which is dbcli update server so guys i'd say uh, we actually can uh, give it some time to run give it something like um 35 to 40 minutes 45 minutes sometimes and you just um, rerun your um, say describe job see the percentage how much it, it is done or you can look from the back end side and things um, how, how the things are looking always keep a tail on cfg tool logs and you'll see o patch o patch auto all those things are coming so let's uh, leave the video um, and let's pause it and we shall revisit once the patching has been completed thanks for watching we're waiting for say around 45 minutes or so i believe you guys would have uh, kept a close eye on Oracle Home uh, CFG tool logs and you would have seen a couple of directories created like opatch auto, opatch auto db and uh, also kept an eye on the list jobs, dbcli list jobs and dbcli uh, described jobs. So um, after a while you'll notice that if you do uh, dbcli list jobs you should get something uh, like, like this output which shows that everything is successful and your server patching has completed successfully as well so guys yeah as you see uh, the server patching it shows as success great and uh, if i run the same command which i ran, ran previously which is dbcli describe job uh, you will see that it will show you that it was successful and the progress also shows us 100 percent, which clearly shows that it was all good great so my mantra what is not checked is not done so now we go back to our oracle home for uh, grid infrastructure and see how the patch status looks like so if i do o patch ls patches so previously i guess you uh, still remember that it was 19.9 and we are aiming to um, upgrade it or patch it to 19.10 so is it done let's take a look Cool. So as we see here, ACFS release update is 19.10. Database release update as part of this, it shows 19.10. And rest of which are like more database specific, which are 19.9, which, uh, which are like OJVM and release updates, which are related to the DB release or the database release. But anything which is specific to uh, the uh, grid infrastructure, it has been upgraded to 19.10. And yes, another command which I'd like to show you is dbcli describe component. You might remember that we ran this command previously. And when we ran this command, sorry, it has to be run using root. So we do dbcli describe component. So previously, when we saw it, you saw that the grid infrastructure was 19.9 .9 and it was showing the available as 19.10, right? But now it should sh it should sh show you that the grid infrastructure installed is 19.10, right? And it shows the available version up to date, which clearly says that, yes, you are on the latest version and there is no other version above this version, which is available with Oracle till date. So guys, that comes uh, brings us to the end of the grid infrastructure patching. In the next video, we shall take a look how you can actually now patch your database release or your RDBMS version, which is set to 19.9 .9, and we will move it to or patch it to 19.10. Thanks for watching.